Didi. We're going to be working on uh, cementing our basic commands. Uh, I know you guys uh, have requested to have Didi uh, around other dogs. Perhaps he's had a little bit of trouble listening to you guys uh, when he's distracted. But in order to make sure that our dog will listen to us when they're out and about, is making sure that they are great with every single command that we give them. So all the basic commands, sit on command, down on command, making sure that they follow through and they can do it. Um, after we do have um, confidence that our dogs know and follow through with all of our basic commands, then we're able to confidently bring them into certain situations where they may be excited or unsure. So let's start right now. Didi has um, a whole bunch of really tiny, adorable puppies right over here, and he's quite interested in them, and he also has other dogs in this area over here that can see him, and he can see them as well. So we have um, a very controlled uh, amount of distractions. Uh, we don't have dogs running loose right here just because we want to make sure that he can still see them, but there's no interaction as of yet. Alright, so all I'm going to do is sit and down. I want to make sure that he follows through every single time I ask him to do a sit or a down. We're going to throw in some stays. We're going to get real specific here. He's going to have to do that stay in the down position, of course. I'm going to walk around him. He'll still be on the leash, but I want to make sure I can walk around him and uh, he's not going to move. Change directions. When you guys take him out on a walk, try to um, do this a lot. Have him sit, stay, down, stay. You might look a little bit crazy when you're walking around him on the, you know, you guys are in the park or something, you're walking around Didi like that, but it definitely works, down, stay. Making sure that you can rehearse all of these commands just for a few minutes every day, making sure that he's following through with them, definitely, um, definitely uh, make a huge, huge breakthrough in obedience. Like I said before, if you have him cement all of those basic commands, he has all of his obedience down pat, you can confidently bring him into situations where he might get excited or even a little bit nervous. Yep. Good boy. Oh, going right to that down. Well, I didn't tell him to do that, so I'm just going to continue on the merry way. Yep. Good boy.
Make sure that you're always testing him in different environments. If it's not in the kitchen, practice in the living room. Practice around different family members. did extremely well and I definitely want to continue working on those basic commands um, so even if you guys get a little bit tired of always having him down and stay sit it's definitely great keeps his mind going keeps him sharp making sure that he's always looking to you guys paying attention to you guys but he did excellent job today very good even with all those puppies back there very cute and he loves them to death but we'll see you guys next time Nicole here with Dee Dee been working on uh, those basic commands, sit, down, stay on the leash currently. However, we do have a lot of our dogs as distractions around us, and he did an excellent job of paying attention. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Good boy, Dee.